Hi, my name is Adam. With me here is Amnimus, and we will talk about motorbike racing. Enjoy! MotoGP is one of the most famous sport in the world, especially in Europe, because most of the riders are European. For example, possibly the best MotoGP riders in the world, Valentino Rossi and Marc Marquez. Your influence towards the sport is very large that when people tend to talk about motorsports, they will mention both of them. Okay, okay, enough with Amnimus. So now we will talk about the history of MotoGP. Actually, World Championship Grand Prix was organized by International Motorcycling Federation in 1949. This sport actually category under motorcycle sport and one of the earliest sponsorship on this sport is Michelin. What is Michelin? Michelin is one of the biggest company that makes tires. And the last thing that I want to explain is International Motorcycling Federation. What is it actually? Actually, it is the global governing body of motorcycling. So now I will if Amnimos to explain more about the MotoGP. Now let's talk about the rules. Usually, MotoGP has 20 or 21 laps per race. Riders need to wear their equipments before the race start and it will be checked by the officials just to make sure that the rider is good to go for the race, safety first. And then there's also a thing called track limit violations. Now what is track limit violations? Track limit violations means that when the rider is running wide off the track and gaining an advantage or cutting a corner too aggressively when they turn, riders will receive 4 warnings and then on the 5th violation, they receive a penalty. Right now, I'm going to talk about necessary equipment. I think it's very common for a stream sport to have a necessary equipment. I'm going to tell you guys what are the important equipment for motorbike racing. First, it is airbag. Usually, we only hear airbags on a car, but then, engineers have invented an effective airbag that plays within a body suit. Airbag is to prevent from big impact. The second equipment is helmet. Helmet can decrease someone being seriously injured if they get into an accident. The third item is glove. Glove is very important because rider must have the best grip as possible in order to steer the motorcycle. Knee pad and boots are to protect our legs. It also will be not too much pressure on the leg when we accident. As you can see on that picture, that is Hafi Shahrin. He is one of the local racers. He started his career at the age of 9 years old in pocket bike. Pocket bike is small bike and usually it will used by a kid. His current team on 2021 is NTS. This team is from Netherlands. His bike number is 55. Bike number is a trademark among the racer. His best achievement is on 2016 under category Moto2. He got number 10 in the race. Many people think that he will be a star in the championship but he got problems with his sponsorship and because of that, he decided to end his career in 2021. It's kind of sad because he is so talented but then people did not appreciate it. I hope for the best for him. There are some deadly incidents happened during the entire MotoGP championship. In 2011, MotoGP rider Marco Simon Sally dies after crash in Sepang. The Italian rider lost control of his bike on the second lap and appeared to be hit by Colin Edwards and then Valentino Rossi as he slid back across the track. The 24-year-old's helmet came off in the collision and he was taken to the medical center. 
where he later died. This is truly really one of the saddest deaths in MotoGP because Marco seems to be a very talented rider at that time. Sad incident also happened to our local riders. For example, one of the promising young Moto2 rider, Kyrol Idhampawi, also known as Super Kip, felt that he no longer can compete in the championship. He decided to cut his right hand's little finger after it's badly broken in a training session in Spain in 2019. I will show you guys the picture of his uh, broken finger. Uh, warning, it's a sensitive content. Now let's go. Although with a very serious injury, he believes that he still can race and perform well on track. However, after a long recovery, he realizes that it's really hard to come back on track. He finally announced his retirement in 2020 at the age of 22 years old. He's still young, many fans hoping and believing that he will come back on track sooner or later. In conclusion, although it's a somehow dangerous and extreme sport, it is still an enjoyable and fun sport to watch. As long as people are aware of the consequences, it will be fine and who knows, maybe in the future, more people will watch and become big fans in Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Bye!